Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. Paulson Adebo has been putting on a clinic these last two games. Uh, we're going to watch some of the film from the Bears game. Not too long, but he's playing absolutely fantastic. So we'll jump right in. He's going to be at the bottom of the screen on maybe 100% of these plays. It's not that many, but that's where he plays. So at the bottom of the screen right here, the Bears are going to run a, a toss with a reverse. Now, Granderson does an absolutely fantastic job on this play and blows it up. But we're here to watch Paulson Adebo, man. And just check him out right here. If Grandison doesn't make this play, this can be a big play. So Adebo has to run all the way across the field, recognizes this from the, you know, from the beginning. Say, okay, we're a man to man right here. This is my guy. He's going to go around. He has to get around. You can't be lazy and just jog and think somebody else is going to make the play. He sprints all the way across the field. And if Grandison doesn't make that play, guess what? It's one guy right here. Paulson Adebo. Now, if Paulson Adebo is not right here, now you have one-on-one -on -one with the safety. And that could be touchdown. So that's a really, really good play by Paulson Adebo, even though it won't show up in the stat sheet. Won't get any credit for it. Bottom of the screen once again. Now right here, it's just a little cover two right here. This is super, super simple. You're going to run cover two. Now your job in cover two, obviously, is the flats. But you want to sag off that because you want to help on anything, you know, a corner route, you know, maybe right here, a little a stop route right here, something, you know, up in the middle. And he plays it perfectly. Look, he split the difference. He split perfectly. You can look at the top. Um, I think that's Lattimore up here as well. He's splitting the difference between these two guys. The same exact thing. That's what you want. And if the quarterback makes a throw, you can break on both of them. Now, obviously, he throws it here. And guess what? That's an easy interception. That is a very, very easy interception. This is just perfect cover two football right here. Everybody plays it well. Up top, at the bottom. Like I said, they run basically the same route concepts right here. Everything's covered. You got Lattimore splitting these guys. You got a Debo splitting these guys. It's more space for Adebo to break. So if he wants to throw this ball, this is a far throw in the NFL. That's a 20-yard throw, and Adebo is four yards away from that guy. Good luck. Interception. You have to work on these return skills, Adebo. I'm not sure what we got going on there, but hey, we're going to live with the interception. That's a really, really good play. One of my favorite plays right here. Let's watch it. And you might think, oh, he gave up a catch. Wow, this is one of your favorite plays. Let's check it out. Paulson the D-Boy up here up top. Once again. All right, he's guarding DJ Moore right here, but look at my guy Zach Bond. He gets, I don't know actually what happens to him, but this ain't going to work. He's uh, guarding Cole Komet. He tries to get a jam. Oh, it's a pass play. So Debo, being the smart man that he is, he has DJ Moore, but uh, we see Cole Komet running wide open for a touchdown right here. So you know what? I'll leave my guy. We'll come to your guy. Because, hey, if Adebo's right here and Komet's wide open, he makes this move on um, whoever that is. That's a touchdown. I think that's Lattimore. So, right by Adebo right there going to Cole Komet. Still gets in on the tackle. It's just a really, really good play. Really good play. That's just playing football right there. All right, my guy's open, but I got to go to deeper guy. We just have to go to deeper guy. You know, give up that first down or whatever, but save the touchdown. It's a good play. Top of the screen once again. Now, obviously, we give up a good catch right here. Big catch. Don't want to give those up. But, hey, after the play, it's not over. We punch those out. We punch those out. Now, to be honest, all right, let's watch it from this thing. Let's watch this punch out. It's just really, really good football. Not giving up on the play. All right, let's watch from this back end. Now, D-Boy and Alante Taylor, they're just playing a two-man game up here. Alante Taylor is going to take anything that comes outside. Debo is going to take anything that comes inside. Uh, unfortunately for Debo, the reason he gave up this catch was Alante does almost too good of a job jamming this guy. Now Debo doesn't know who's going to come inside because both of these guys can break in. And Debo has to take a second guy. Alante takes the first. Both can go out. So Debo is just playing back, playing back, trying to see what's going on. He sees these guys breaking out. Alante does his job. He's going out. But now Debo is late to get to this inside receiver. It is what it is. It's just a tough play to, to defend. But, like I said, we don't give up. We punch the ball out. We end up getting a turnover, his second turnover of the day. Another really, really good play by Paulson Adebo. Excellent job. Top of the screen up here. A little play action, one-on-one -on -one with DJ Moore. I mean, that's Clamps. Even in the scramble drill, that's clamp. That's what you want. That's what you want. 
Now, I do want to give credit to Demario Davis on this play. I know this is a Paulson Adebo play or whatnot, but watch Demario Davis on this play, man. This is absolutely crazy. Check him out. We'll follow him on the cursor. Oh, he see this crossing route. We're going to go with this crossing route. Boom, that's covered. Oh, quarterback breaks the pocket. Guess what? I'm just going to run back up here to the quarterback as well. That's covering a lot of ground for your middle linebacker guy that's up there in age. That's a really, really good play. It won't show up in the stat sheet. You can see it from this angle too, Demario Davis. Just the movement, you know, on this play from that one guy. It's crazy. That's a heck of a play. All right, next play. We got a Debo once again. Up top. Literally, same thing he got the interception off. This is just a cover two look. Uh, he's got the flats out here, so he's going to have, I guess that's Mooney out here in the flats, but he also got to help deep, you know, just in case. So once again, we're going to split the difference, split the difference. Once that ball's thrown, we're going to break. Moore gets a hand on it, but we got two guys in the right position. Go and make a play on that ball and on his body. That's going to be a really, really good, tough catch if he comes down with that. Good job by Lattimore. I mean, not Lattimore. Good job by Tyron. Good job by Debo. It's a good play. Boston Debo's been really, really good. And I think, I don't know, I'm not sure if he's the hand that got in there, but I mean, Moore gets his hand on there. Yep, I think a Debo hand comes through. This is perfect technique. You're not in phase, so you can't turn around right here because you're not in phase. You got to play the ball. See, the, the guy, go, hands goes up. Watch that. We stick our hands in there, knock that loose. Excellent play once again from Boston Debo. Dude's been playing out of his mind. At the bottom of the screen down here, and this is what I love. This didn't come his way. This didn't do anything, but check out the safety help. No one's on Paulson Debo's side. Safeties are not worried about him. This is just one-on-one -on -one coverage. Now, if we can get more of this, leaving him on the island, helping out safeties, helping the inside, maybe on some linebackers, some tight ends, uh, you know, helping out with Elante Taylor, that's just going to make this defense so much easier because obviously Lattimore doesn't really get help. Every now and then he does. Um, but if we can get a Debo on, on the island by himself, that's going to just make this defense even more better, you know, than it already is. So that's really, really good running step for a guy that's just trying to take a deep shot. Once again, bottom of the screen down here. And he's just, he's just better than this receiver. It's just simple as that. I'm sorry. He runs this route for him. I mean, it's a deep end route by this receiver. And, I mean, the Debo's already breaking before that guy even breaks. And that's DJ Moore. I didn't know who it was at first, but yeah. That's really, really good coverage by Paulson Adebo. Once again, one-on-one at the bottom of the screen with DJ Moore. Really, really good receiver. Gets his hands on him. One-on-one. -on -one. He stops, I stop. This is just, I mean, this is really, really good coverage. Dare I say better coverage than Lattimore in this play? <laughs> I mean, hey, look how close Adebo is. Look how close Lattimore is. I'm just trolling on that. But that's really, really good coverage by, I mean, everybody on the field. You want to... Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Hey, ain't a soul open right here. But once again, really good job by Paulson Adebo. Having a breakout year, man. Breakout year. And even at the end of this play, I mean, he's covering his man. He's covering his man. Scramble drill here. He still got the awareness. Hey, that ball's in the air. I'm going to get it. Obviously, you can tell he wants another interception on the day. Really, really good job by Paulson Adebo. And we got him right here. Once again, top of the screen. Or bottom of the screen. Same exact route that DJ Moore just tried to run on him. And you can just tell. First of all, this receiver is too small. Because as a receiver, you're taught to lean on him at the top of the route. But also as a receiver, you got to know. Once you start leaning on him, that's a dead giveaway that you're going to run an inside route. So just watch at the top of you know, top of the screen right here. See how this receiver throws that right shoulder into a Debo? Now, a Debo should know if he's going to do that, he's going to try to break in. Because he's trying to you know create that cushion. A Debo knows that. He breaks in. Doesn't really get any type of separation. Adebo's right on that. And guess what? We need those. This is just super, super good defense. Um, receiver needs to be better right there. I mean, he doesn't if he's playing us. But that's just a bad route. Really, really good play by Boston Adebo once again. Like I said, we need those super, super good coverage. Third turnover, hey, fourth all day. And what I just mentioned, it comes to fruition towards the end right here. 
Like I said, you get Paul from Debo one on one at the bottom of the screen, just running man for man, mano y mano, right? And then you got up here, you got Marshawn Lattimore. It's crazy I just said this. I didn't even know it was going to play out like this. You got Marshawn Lattimore. Guess what? One on one at the top of the screen. You got Paul from Debo one on one at the bottom of the screen. Now look at this. You can help in the middle. You can help with Alante Taylor with these safeties. Look at the help. We can help here. We can help here. Because guess what? Now we got two corners that's locking shit down. You got Lattimore up here. You got a Debo down here. Both one-on-one. -on -one, and now you can help in the slot. You can help, you know, with uh, tailbacks, tight ends. Whatever you need to help with, the safeties can help with that. Because you got two corners playing out of this world right now. Lattimore and Debo. Both having really, really good years. Uh, so that's really, really good for the Saints, obviously. And once again, we we help on Alante Taylor right there, even though Alante Taylor is, I mean, he won that himself, didn't really need the help. That's really, really good. <clears throat> Three really good corners for the Saints. Adebo's coming into his own. Uh, Got to give Dennis Allen's credit. A lot of people wanted Alante Taylor at that outside cornerback, including myself. Well, I, didn't, I wouldn't say I want Alante Taylor. I, I thought it should be a fair battle. It never was a fair battle because Alante Taylor had to play the slot, which, hey, he's adjusted to and he's playing well in the slot, so I'm not mad at it, but... We have three really, really good corners. We're going to need them to be great because the pass rush comes and goes, and it's a lot more goals than comes. So uh, we're going to need these DBs to really, really be good. A lot of interceptions this year, a lot of turnovers. That's what we need from this defense while this offense tries to find its rhythm, try to get these guys going. Defense is going to have to hold their, you know, hold whole court, and they've been playing well so far. But Paulson the Depot, man, having an all-pro type season, He's playing really, really well. I know he won't get the recognition just because he's playing, you know, on a team with Cam Jordan, Demario Davis, Marshawn Lattimore, Tyron Matthew. He may not get the recognition from the national media, but from Saints media, we all know that Paulson Debo's been balling. Man, thank y'all for tuning in once again. As always, this is the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.